So you go and get the deal with Jive and you release your first album and a lot of the songs from your, you know, your independent EP ended up on that album. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, well they definitely wanted to put 187 Proof and Welcome to the Ghetto and yeah. My Neighborhood on there. Um, but I just had so much more material. You know, I was like, shit, I got, y'all want an album? Like, I can do a lot of albums. Like, I write fast, I record fast, you know. Um, now my, my record is, uh, I think I did like 16 songs in like three days. Wow. Like, we just did um, the Platinum OG project. And so, you know, that, that, you know, I'm going to go back and, re, you know, re-spit some stuff over or whatever, but three or four days, you know, I'm, I'll be writing, I'll be going off, man. I was on one and shit. Okay. And, and on that song, uh, Welcome to the Ghetto, you had that line, uh, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. Yeah. Which yeah. Tupac later on used for, I wonder if heaven got a ghetto. Yeah. I have to tell people, you know, a lot of people don't know that shit, man. You know, it's like, you know, me and Pac learned a lot from each other. You know what I'm saying? As far, you know, he he would call me and tell me, like, you know, I took your shit, fool. I got that shit on my <laughs> And I'd be like, what? You know, I, and I'd call him and tell him, you know, I, I I took some of your shit. My nigga, check this out, you know. Um, but we collaborated a lot on, on a lot of things, like even just chopping it up and talking. Right. So, so you come out with that album. And, you know, Lupe Fiasco said that that first album was the reason he wanted to rap. Yeah. You heard that? Yeah. I think maybe, you know, it's like when I prayed and, and wrote that song, that song 187 Proof, and um, it catapulted a lot of artists, and it encouraged a lot of artists to, to write and rap, and, you know, um, and I maybe, you know, maybe that's what, the, the, what it was for, you know, uh, for cats like Lupe Fiasco to, to be heard, you know. Yeah. Um, so then you drop your third, well, you drop uh, your second album, 187 He Wrote, mm -hmm. in 93. And then you dropped America's Nightmare in 94. I, I remember I bought that. That was the first yeah. Spice One album that, that I bought. And that had a Tupac song on it. But you had actually worked with Tupac way before then. Yeah. Okay, so how did you and Tupac originally meet? Um, at... At, uh, at my in, uh, in my neighborhood video, um, the Hughes brothers shot the video. Um, Pooh Man was there, and Banks was there, and we was sitting around a garbage can with the fire in there, and we was you know we was, we was spitting. The next thing you know, Pac walk up like Spice, what's up, fool? You know, and he was like capping him in his brain with the nine. You know, he was singing a stutter rap. He knew words to all my songs when I met him, and that was cool. You know. Um, and I had, he had just did Juice. He had already done Juice? Mm-hmm. He had just did okay. Juice. It, it was, the movie was out popping. Like, it was the movie popping at that point in time. Okay. So you knew exactly who he was. Yeah. Because that, that was, everyone saw Juice. Yeah. That's when the Hughes brothers said, we want Spice, we want, Spice, we want you to play old dog. Pop, we want you to play Sharif. And, oh, um, at that, at your... At in my neighborhood. Field. At the at the. That's when they offered us the movie role. Aha! Oh, okay, that's interesting. So, so yeah. the, the Hughes brothers, because the Hughes brothers did a bunch of music videos before they started doing movies. They yeah. did. Uh, they shot in my neighborhood video. But for Tupac, they were doing videos too. Mm -hmm. For uh, Brenda's got a baby. Or yeah. Keep your head up. Or I, I forgot which songs they did exactly. So, so they're shooting the video for you. Tupac shows up, mm -hmm. and that's when they kind of met Tupac for the first time. Yeah, I think I, I think so. Aha. Uh -huh. But yeah. Tupac was already kind of a movie star at this point. He was point. already a movie star yeah. when we met, yeah. Okay. So you, you and Pac link up. Yeah. And you guys started doing some music together? Um, yeah, we started doing songs, but, you know, it was, it was so much going on in East Oakland. Like, we had the same enemies and shit, you know. It was, a, it was just, you know, we, as far as recording... We wasn't even really tripping on recording because it was just so much shit going on <laughs> in, the, in the Bay Area, you know, as far as, you know, uh, us having these same, these enemies, these same dudes uh, we was beefing with. And, um, you know, we just talk a lot about that and ride around and holler at females all day, you know.